that was the first back and forth stick bee I've ever done. <laughs> Whew. There are usually a lot of reasons behind why I'm sponsored by certain companies. Besides the paycheck and the free stuff, so really be clear with me. Solguard sent me the new Shoreline watch and there are three major reasons why I'm sponsored by Solguard. One, I've known the CEO for a long time. Adrian is a homie, I've known him for years and He's just a genius and a good dude at the same time. And Solgard has purpose. All their product is made from ocean-bound plastic. Anytime you purchase one of the suitcases or the watch, or anytime you support Solgard, that helps take more plastic out of the ocean. Good people, good idea, cool product, and purpose. And that circles back to all my other sponsors, including Envy. Today's video, we're gonna be putting on Walmart $10 wheels. And the more I make videos like this, and the more I experiment with other parts from other brands, the more I Appreciate having the best wheels in the world so much. Having the best deck in the world so much. Today's mission is to put these $10 wheels that I found on Walmart and hopefully they don't break. If you don't have money and you really want to get a metal core wheel, instead of waiting, being patient, working a little harder, saving up for my SIG wheels, this will be a test whether these are worth it to get in the meantime. That was first try. All right, so I went on Walmart and tried to look up the cheapest metal core wheel, the cheapest decent wheel, and I found this one for 10 bucks. This is $10 each wheel. This is the cheapest you can get before doing a completely plastic core. And the urethane doesn't feel too bad. I mean, it kind of just feels like a good wheel from back in the day. But obviously this is just a generic thing. Like I said, if you don't have the money to get my best wheels in the world, in the meantime, if you need something, I think you just should get plastic ones just because they're even cheaper and they're temporary. But either way, if you get something in the meantime, we're gonna put these on, see if they hold up, if they chunk, if they dehub and... Oh, <laughs> I was about to say one thing and I stopped myself and I'm gonna say something completely different. I was going to say these things are dialed and feel like they're gonna feel really good. Except, when I went to roll it as I turned the camera on, it doesn't even roll. I might have to just loosen them up and ride them loose. So step one, terrible bearings, terrible bearing spacers, and they don't even roll at all. So I'm gonna have to ride them loose. Still nothing. Oh my God, this is super loose. <laughs> the whole thing moves, look at this. Yeah, I can already tell these things are junk. All right. Oh, there you go. $10, that's what's gonna get you. I wanna say the urethane feels decent. The wheels are fast, but that doesn't mean anything. It's gonna break in five minutes. Give you a look at them before they go to dust. They look sick. Clean. I'm feeling a scooter fakey spin. The last trick we're gonna do is gonna be a brand new trick that we just learned, we just invented. If you guys have watched my videos over the last week, you know I invented a trick called Sumo. It's more of like a death truck, an extension, a new hold where I go here, do a death truck, throw it down. Usually I hold it in the head tube, but I was able to do a double grab like this. So I wanna see if I can do that new trick with these cheap wheels to help prove that I can do the trick and probably nothing else. Dude, these wheels suck. <laughs> these wheels are so terrible. <laughs> that was very difficult and mainly because the wheels are terrible. My pegs are loose because I couldn't tighten the wheel all the way. So as I'm balancing that trick, that brand new world's first invented trick that I learned last week, my pegs are spinning. So I have to balance on the wheel, I have to balance the trick, I have to do this new trick, and then I have to balance on the peg that's spinning inside the deck. That's not good. I'm going to do one more power slide right now and hope they do break. And if not, I'm going to leave them here. If anybody lives near Southern Village in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, I'm going to put them behind this fence. If you really need wheels. If you don't, 
leave them there. Don't come here. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more new videos every single day on the channel, subscribe if you want to be the first to see these videos. I'm trying to come up with new challenges, new ideas, and obviously new tricks. This new trick sumo that I learned last week, we were able to pull it off on these cheap $10 wheels. Let me know in the comments what you think about these wheels. And let me know in the comments what you really think about my SIG wheels. More of an important comment. Thank you again for watching. Check out this power slide. Let's see if they explode. Either way, this was fun. Southern Village in the hockey rink, and they're behind the fence.